Hello everyone, my name is Fazal. You are watching MFA Civil Engineering. Before stones is going to be used for any specific work, the suitability of our stones is checked by performing a various tests like acid test, crushing test, crystallization test, hardness test, water absorption test, smith test, impact test, microscopic test, attrition test, freezing and thawing test. Acid test. This test is useful to confirm the power of a stone to withstand the atmospheric action, gases and the acid fumes. In this test, 100 gram of a stone chipping are kept in a 5% solution of a hydrochloric acid or a sulfuric acid. After a 3 days, the chippings are taken out and dry. If the edge and the corner remain sharp as they were before and if the grains remain firm, it indicates that the stone is quite sound to resist the weathering action. Crushing test. This test is used to find out the compressive strength of the stone in a crushing test machine. The sample of a stone is cut into a cube having a dimension of a 40 mm. Side of each cubes are finally dressed and finished. The cube of a stones are placed in a water for about 72 hours prior to test. And then they are tested in a saturated condition. 5 mm thick plywood or a plaster of Paris is applied on a load bearing surface. The load is applied axially at the rate of a 13.72 Newton per mm square per minute on the cube. The crushing strength of the stones per unit area is the maximum load at which the sample crushed or fell divided by the area of a bearing surface of the specimen. Crystallization test. In this test, at least 4 cube of a stone having a side of a 40 mm each are dried for about 72 hours. These dried stones are wet and then immerse in a 14% solution of a sodium sulphide for about 2 hours. Again, these cubes are dried at 100 degrees Celsius and then wetted. The difference in the weight of a cubes before and the after immerse in the solution is noted. This procedure of a drying, weighing, immersing and re-weighing is repeated at least 5 times. Each time, the difference in the weight is noted and it is expressed as a percentage of a original weight. Hardness test. This test is useful to determine the hardness of a stone. In this test, a cylinder of a diameter 25 mm and the height of a 25 mm is taken out from the sample of a stone and weighted. Then it is placed in a dory testing machine and pressed. The pressure applied on the stone is 12.5 Newton. Then the annular steel disc of a dory testing machine is rotated at a speed of a 28 rotation per minute. The course and the standard specimen is sprinkled on the top of the disc during the rotation of a disc. When 1000 such revolutions are completed, the specimen is taken out and the weighted. The difference in the weight of a specimen before and the after revolution in the machine is calculated. Then the coefficient of a hardness is found out using the relations as coefficient of hardness is equal to the 20 minus loss in weight in gram divided by 3. Water absorption test. In this test, 50 gram of a specimen is placed in an oven at a 105 degree Celsius for a 3 days and then it is cooled in a desiccator. Next, the specimen is immersed in a distilled water for a 3 days. If we assume that the weight of a dry sample after being cooled in a desiccator is a W1 and the weight of a wet sample on a taking out from a distilled water is a W2, then the absorption of a water is given by the equation absorption of a water is equal to the w2 minus w1 divided by w1 multiplied by the 100 smith test this test is useful for a finding out the presence of a soluble matter in a sample of a stone in this test a few piece of a stones are placed in a glass of a clean water for about an hour then the tube is stirred or a shaken due to the presence of the earthy matter clean water is converted into a dot water Slightly cloudiness of a water will prove that the stone is a good and the durable. If the water is a too dirty, it will indicate that the stone containing a too much of a soluble earthy and the mineral matter. Impact test. This test is useful to determine the toughness of a stone. This test is carried out in a page impact machine. From the sample of a stone which is to be tested, a cylinder of a diameter 25 mm and the height of a 25 mm is taken out. The cylinder is placed on a cast iron anvil of a machine. Then the steel hammer of a weight 20 Newton is allowed to fall axially in a vertical direction over the specimen. The height of a first blow is 1 cm. 
that of a second blow is a 2 cm that of a third blow is a 3 cm and so on at a particular blow the specimen break this blow at which the specimen break is noted if it is a nth blow n represent the toughness index of a stone microscopic test in this test the thin section of a stones are taken and placed under the microscope to study a various properties such as the average grain size nature of a cementing material texture of a stones minerals constituent of a stones existence of a pores fissures veins and the presence of any harmful substance attrition test this test is used to test the power of a stones to withstand the effect of a grinding action of a traffic this test is carried out in a devil attrition testing machine for this test broken stones of about 5 to 6 cm size are taken a weighted quantity of a broken stone is put inside the iron drum inclined at a 30 degree to the horizontal revolving at a 2000 revolution per hour after a 5 hour the stones are taken out and the sieve through the 2 mm sieve then the stone pieces retained on the sieves are weighted the loss in the weight of a stones is a aberration loss the loss must not exceed 2% for the good stones let w1 be the initial weight and the w2 be the final weight of a stone then the percentage of a wear is equal to the w1 minus w2 divided by w1 multiplied by 100 freezing and thawing test in this test the specimen of a stones is kept immersed in the water for about 24 hour then it is placed in a freezing mixture at a minus 12 degree celsius for 24 hour and then it is thawed or warmed at atmospheric temperature this process should be conducted in a shed to prevent any effect due to the wind sun ray and rain the whole process is repeated several time and the behavior of a stone is carefully observed